last two days I'd had. First, my owner takes me for a drive, then forgets me. Then, I'm picked up by the police. Then, this lady, Kate, comes and gets me from the police station, and I'm in the back of another van to take me to some place called Battersea, wherever that is. Oh, they say it's a dog's life. Well, I know what they mean. Then the van stopped, so I knew we must have arrived. But what was this place going to be like? I had no idea, but I was fairly impatient to find out. Have you come to let me out? About time, really. Still, it's okay. It's air-conditioned, this van, you know. So, what's this place, then? That's a strange looking building. Well, as it turned out, this was some sort of health centre and the driver passed me on to another lady called Kate who decided to weigh me, which was fine. I've always looked after myself. And Kate was quite nice really and said a lot of kind things about me. Come on, me man. Aren't you a stunner? Right, Mr Handsome. Let's see if you've got a mum and dad out there. See if they've put a microchip in your neck. Microchip? No, I don't think so. I'm sure I'd remember. Do you? Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, what beautiful teeth you have. And what beautiful big eyes you have. Well, the flattery was becoming a little bit heavy. She's up to something, I thought. And it wasn't long before I found out what. Right then, this isn't going to hurt, it's just going to be like a little scratch. A scratch? What do you mean? That's a needle, isn't it? What are you doing? What a brave man. Brave? You've tied me up. I could hardly run away. So beautiful. Now, I wonder what your name could be. Could you be Dwayne? Well, I could if I was a Doberman. Or maybe a Hamish. You do have that look of a Hamish. Or maybe Blue. Blue sounds good. What do you think? Well, I do have a name, although Blue has a ring to it. It's um, quite distinguished. Right then, Blue. Now you've had your full MOT, we're going to take you over to Tilby, where you'll stay for seven days. And hopefully within them seven days, your mum and dad will come looking for you. And if not, after the seven days, we'll find you a new mum and dad. Well, apart from the needle thing, Kate was very nice. And as we walked, she told me all about Mrs. Tealby, who founded the home. So, she founded a dog's home in 1860, and it was actually in Holloway. And then it came here in 1871, and since then we've looked over 2.8 million dogs, just like you. So, this was a dog's home. And apparently the oldest in the world. But this Tealby kennel block was actually quite new. And I have to say it was okay. Good food, decent service, and quite an enjoyable recreation room although the sofa has seen better days. Anyway, in there, I had to see this behaviour assessor, or shrink, I believe is the more common name. Me, Paul? Paul? Anyway, I knew how to handle her. I turned on the charm a bit and generally played the game. Roll over. Good boy. <laughs> and with a few sessions on the sofa, discussing my family and the like, by the end of the week, I really felt we'd quite it off. I must have done something right because the next thing, this lovely young lady, Kay, is giving me a bit of a makeover. Yeah, oh, yeah, just down there. That, that tail. Mm hmm. That's perfect. I'm going to take this all off you and we'll get you nice and dry. And that's exactly what she did. And after all that, I felt I really had to show my appreciation. There you go, Blue. You're a new dog now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're, you're too kind. Good boy. Good boy. And this is where you're going to stay until you get your new home. It's nice and spacious. You've got your bed, you've got your lounge, garden and lovely neighbours. I'll leave you to it. You have a nice look around. Bye. What? Sorry? Oh, you're going? Oh, OK. See you later. Oh, well, now, what's through here then? What a view. I'm, I'm quite speechless, really. 
And do you know, that kennel really was marvellous. You could say I had a ball. And all the staff were great. Especially Peter, he was a laugh. Anyway, they changed my blanket twice a day without fail. And I got all my meals served in my room. I mean, what more could a dog ask for? Hi, Blue, dinner time. Yes, good boy. And my neighbours, well, most of them were fine. The singing was led by Dave across the way, but I never did quite figure out the tune. But I really got to know Cassie best. She was a bit of a cutie, and we had adjoining rooms, and you know what it's like. I went to her place, she came round to mine. Actually, we spent quite a lot of time with each other. We even went out on a few dates. Of course, we had to take the humans with us. I think it was nice for them to get out and have a bit of exercise. Cassie and I would just stroll, enjoy the view and chat. You know, she told me that each year they give every dog who comes here a different name. So that's 6,000 names they have to come up with. Apparently, she was nearly called Brittany, which puts Hamish into some sort of perspective. She also told me that the home looks after cats as well, which was a bit of a shocker. Those few days with Cassie were unforgettable. But one day, she was gone. One of the nice humans came and got her, and she never came back. Gone to a new home, they said. But on the bright side, they gave her room to a rather attractive little lady. I made a note to uh, get to know her better. Over those few days, I'd also noticed that a few more humans, not just Peter and his friends, came round. They seemed to be looking at our accommodation. I, of course, tried to be as much help as I could. I always try to be helpful. Hello, can I show you around? I could do a lot worse than this place, you know. Hello. What's your name? Blue. They call me Blue. 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 Oh, aren't you lovely, darling? Hello, Blue. You're a lovely boy, aren't you? Oh, thanks. That's very kind. I feel I should sing for you. <laughs> what a noise. I think this is the one. They were being so nice. I got a bit carried away. Do you want to see how high I can jump? Look, I'll do it again. Well, hey, what do you think of that? Good boy. Do you fancy going for a walk sometime? Just uh, you two and me. Or, or the pretty one next door can come if you like. What do you say? Bye, Blue. Bye. We're going? But was it something I said? Well, I, I knew humans could be odd, but that was very strange. One minute they were saying how lovely I was, the next minute they were away. We hadn't even arranged a time for our walk. Oh well, as my mum used to say, there's nout as funny as folk. But that day just got weirder. About an hour later, another new face turned up. Hi Blue. I think there's somebody here who wants to meet you today. Hi, good boy. We're we gonna go out and meet the new people. Okay, but wait a minute, who are you? Why is your top a different colour? You're gonna be a good boy. Yeah? Yeah? I've, I've no idea who you are, but yeah, of course. Come on. All right then, let's go. I'll be good. W where are they then? Are they down here? Well, I went with her to this little room, and you'll never guess who she was taking me to meet. That's right, the strangers from before. And were they excited? Good boy, good boy, good boy. So, you like Blue? He's lovely. Oh, yes. Yeah? Oh, yes, he's wonderful. I'll just tell you a little bit about his general character. He's a, he's a happy-go-lucky boy. Uh, he's going to need a country environment, lots of space to run, um, and a lot of mental stimulation. Because he's quite a clever young man, aren't you, Blue? That's uncanny. She's got my character spot on. I really am very clever. Anyway, you seem fairly bright yourselves. You've certainly got a talent for stroking. Oh, you're lovely, lovely doggy. Would you like to come home with us? Would I like to come home with you? Yeah. I'll just have to go and pack. Well, actually, I don't have anything to get. We could just go. Somebody here will say bye to Dave for me and uh, give my number to the neighbour. Of course, they wouldn't let me go just like that. Not without another injection, anyway. They said it was a chip, in case I got lost again. But that's hardly likely, is it? Well, tell the truth, it didn't really hurt. And they've been good to me, so I didn't make a fuss. So, are you happy?
happy to be coming home with us, Blue. Lead on, Macduff. Are we walking or do you have a car? I mean, I don't mind either way. What's your, what's your house like? Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Have I got my own room? I mean, you don't have to give me my own room. I'll, I'll sleep anywhere, on your feet if you like. And with that, I left Battersea with my new friends to begin my new and exciting life. Thank you.